hello there. My name is the Gaming Lassie, and for my first gaming video, I thought I would play the Stanley Parable. So let's start. Try everything out first. No, go to the meeting room. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. I'm gonna build man. Um. Let's check all the doors. Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Let's go with the way he says first and then try the other way next time. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. How to solve a dispute with a co-worker. Um, broom closet. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Great grumpy old man. Following his instructions, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Um. No. Get in there. No. In here. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. It's a huge Shocked, office. Never seen an office in in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Five. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Or the fact that I can hear you talking. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Me and Stanley are not stupid here, old man. Shall we give the man a name? I think we should. I think we should call him Bert. One Bert, me and Stanley are not that stupid. So far, so good. I'm just go with the guy's directions first, and then. A bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Right, Stanley. Go Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. I really want to go to escape. Let's just listen to him. Me. 
damn it. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Mm. Did he have the strength to find out? revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Could you imagine that actually happening? Getting controlled by computers. That'd just be weird. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to what believe it couldn't again? be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions mm. had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Who knows? No, he refused no. to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control. Holy moly. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Yes. Was it even possible? Yes, but. Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Oh, yes, but. No. But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled Mind with control emotions. status offline. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Look. I'm not sure. I thought that door was open over the other side. Mind control is ideal awaiting input. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this. <laughs> What did the press? Gladness and a rising chill of uncertainty. No. Was it over? Was it back? Was it? <gasps> yes. He had won. He had defeated we the machine. Did it. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Oh my god. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co workers gone? Hmm. How had he been freed from the machine's grounds? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. Or it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, I can fly. but to let go. No I longer guess. would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. Why is it going to so fast? It was perhaps that the happens. only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Did I? Did I really? Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. 
Oh, what's that? Stanley. 